All right, so we've previously explored the online documentation for VBA objects, including their properties and methods. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you a lightweight documentation tool that's built directly into the Visual Basic Editor, and it's called the Object Browser. There's two ways that we can access the Object Browser. The first way is to click the View menu up top and select Object Browser, and when it pops up, it's going to occupy the place that's normally taken up by the code window, so here it is and I'm just gonna exit out of it here by clicking the close window button at the top right. The second is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is F2. That's going to bring up the object browser as well. Now the object browser lists every object property and method across all Microsoft applications. So we're not actually limited to searching strictly within the Excel object model. We can look across the object model for essentially any Office application. So right here I have a couple of results showing up, but let's go to the starting place for this object browser. So let me just get rid of my search term here. When you launch this browser for the first time, what you should see is that this is going to, to select all libraries. All libraries essentially means all Microsoft applications. So if you only want to target Excel and its object model, you want to make sure to select this Excel option right here. That's going to limit the search range. Now in here, in the second box below, this is where we type in whatever we want to search for. And this can be anything from an object to a method to a property. So let's say I want to search for the worksheets object, which we're all pretty familiar with by now. So when I type worksheets, and press enter or press the binoculars right here to the right, that's the same thing as searching. We're going to see a list of anywhere where that worksheets uh, uh, search phrase is going to appear. The very first result is actually going to find worksheets for us. This is the actual object itself. So for example, the second result is actually listing the application object and it's telling us that it has a property or a member called worksheets, which of course is also the same thing as the worksheets object. Um, but the search results are gonna include anything, whether it's the object itself or whether it's a property on an other, another object that represents that object that we're searching for. So we want the top result here. This is our worksheets object. And right here on the left, it's also going to appear here as the selected term right here in this classes panel. So once we select worksheets here, what we're going to get here on the right is a list of all of the properties and the methods that are available on that object. There's a couple weird symbols here, but you'll quickly commit them to memory if you use the object browser a lot. The first is, of course, this green flying book thing. This essentially means that the member that is being listed here is a method. So what I mean by member is just something to that, that belongs to that object. So a member is kind of the parent category that includes both properties and methods. Both properties and methods are uh, members of a given object. So the green flying book demonstrates that the, the current selection is a method. So for example, add is a method, copy is a method, delete is a method on the worksheets object. And anything with this hand plus the index card represents a property. So count is a property, creator is a property, and so on. And whenever we select any of these, we can actually see a little bit of information down below. For example, count is going to say it's a property as well as the, the what kind of data type it is. So a long here represents a whole number data type. Now it's not actually giving us a lot of information about what this property is doing. We're going to have to refer to the online documentation to get that. And there's two ways that we can do that. The first is once a property is selected on an object or a method for that matter, we can select this yellow question mark. And once we click it, it's going to launch a web browser that's going to take us to the documentation page for that specific property or method. So it's a really quick way to navigate to what it is that we're searching for. So on worksheets, uh, the count property, that's the page that's going to load now. It should be opening the default web browser that you have selected on your computer. Here we are, we're getting the documentation for the worksheets count property. It returns a long value that represents the number of objects in the collection, makes sense. The other way to do the exact same operation is to use the keyboard shortcut F1. F1 is again going to open up a browser and load the page for that documentation. Let me just show you another example with a method. So let's say I want to find out what the delete method on the worksheets object does. Just select it with the mouse, press F1. A browser is going to open and load the proper page with that documentation. Unfortunately, uh, if you actually need to find out what a property or a method is doing, you are gonna have to refer to this online site. But the object browser is kind of a good introduction in case you wanna search for something without leaving the confines of Excel, especially if you don't have an internet connection. You can sort of get a list, uh, even if you look at some of the methods here, 
even if we take a look at something like delete, or perhaps uh, add as a better example, we can actually see some of the parameters and arguments that are available here, what their names are. So we can sometimes get a sense of how a method operates or what it does, even if we don't have an explicit text documentation for what it is. But that is the object browser. It's built into the VBE. You can use it at any time. Just press F2 to bring it up. You can search within the Excel object model for anything you want. We can search for application. We can search for worksheets, workbooks, any object at all. Uh, it's going to appear here. Make sure you select it. Here we're going to have all the members of that object. The members include both the properties and the methods. We can select any one of those, have a brief description here, and then use that uh, by pressing the F1 key to access the online documentation for that member. That's all there is to cover here. I'll see you in the next lesson.